So now it's time to install the loop transmitter. Um, this is a grey and purple device which has a button on the side to open up the head so that you can connect it to a meter cable which I will show you uh, very shortly. Uh, then on the side you'll find a barcode sticker with a number which is the transmitter serial number which will start 00000. The next step is to put the transmitter serial number into the screenshot. So on this one the number is 00092400. One, one. And then we can press next. As your loop transmitter is a brand new unit, we need to reset it and power it up for the first time. To do this, you turn the unit over and you'll see a depressed little spot with a hole in it. This is a button that can be pressed with the use of a pen and you just push the pen into that and push down and you'll feel a slight click. On pressing it you will see the red light flash. So having pressed the reset button you wake the device up for five minutes. If it takes you longer than five minutes to install don't worry just press the button with a pen a second time to wake it up again. Having done this, you can now press next to move on to the next stage. Okay, so we've moved outside and this is a typical outside electricity installation with a proper door on the front opening up to show the electricity meter and associated cables. A quick safety check to show that all the cables are in good condition and nothing's loose, so this is good to go and ready to install. This is a one rate electricity meter with four cables coming from uh, the meter. In this installation, you connect the loop transmitter to the furthest right cable, which is the live cable into the home. Some properties will have a two rate meter, for example, Economy 7, and they'll have five cables coming from the meter base. And in that scenario, you install the loop transmitter to the middle cable. To install electricity loop, you press the button on the side, open the transmitter head, and clip it around the cable and close it until it clicks. Once installed, it's best if the loop transmitter can sit free of any other item, not touching anything else, to ensure the best radio transmission. And that's the transmitter installed. Having connected the loop electricity transmitter outside at the meter point, um, we are now ready to click the next button for it to make a connection between the transmitter and the receiver. The system is now looking to make that connection and it has confirmed that the connection has been successful and we have a nice, friendly, happy face to confirm that. So now your loop is installed correctly and we can click Next.